Those who use the WIC program will soon see some big changes. Chris Bryant spoke with a local charity and Greene County's WIC coordinator to find out what this means for local families. It's especially important that we're taking a look, especially whenever there's updates to the dietary guidelines. So we've had updates to the di dietary guidelines, and we also just want to make sure that we're meeting the nutritional needs of our members. Changes proposed to the USDA in November of 2022 have just recently been approved for the first update in a decade. They're also allowing for more flexibility, so more choices for those that might have food sensitivities or cultural preferences. State and local WIC programs have two years to put the changes into place, but they could make those changes sooner. Some of the changes have already occurred. So back in 2021, we had a temporary increase for our fruit and vegetable um, benefit, the cash value that they get. And so that's actually going to stay the same. The USDA says the changes encourages more fruit and vegetables and promotes breastfeeding to help establish long-term breastfeeding goals for mothers. I think finally we're starting to get the ball rolling on. It's not just the total amount of calories that help people, it's the quality of those calories. Under the new rule, WIC vouchers will provide $26 per month for fruits and vegetables for children ages 1 to 4, an increase to $47 for pregnant and postpartum women, and $52 a month for women who are breastfeeding. I honestly think the biggest thing is going to be teaching families how to use those vegetables and how to incorporate more than just your favorite one or two things um, into your dish. The changes also reduces the amounts provided for juice to around half a gallon less. It also makes changes to the amount of milk allowed from four to six gallons per month. Time that WIC, that people are eligible for the WIC program is a really crucial time for their nutrition. So we wanna make sure that they have access to a variety of healthy foods to meet all of their nutrition needs. In 2022, WIC served about 6.3 million people per month at an estimated cost of $5.7 billion for the year. WIC helped 39% of all infants in the United States. When you think of the example of a single mom with three kids, yeah. all of a sudden that single mom now has an additional 150 or so dollars that she can have each month to spend on produce, to spend on all of those healthy fruits and vegetables. Uh, it makes a huge difference for the kids. Chris Bryant, KY3 News.